Yo E, I'm 32 years old. I have been watching you since 2010. I've learned a lot from you, dude. I'm working as a security officer for a hospital in downtown Tampa. One thing I noticed over the last 10 years is that I constantly am surrounded and working with weak, feminine, and degenerate men. And it can't be extremely draining. It can be extremely draining and exhausting to associate myself with them. What would you suggest or what should I, what would I possibly uh, do if you recommend? Don't talk to them. Don't talk to them, but not in a mean way, but in a way that like, I really have nothing to say to you. We have nothing in common. I'm not interested in changing you. I'm just here doing my job. Keep your distance, that's my opinion. Mind your business, keep your distance, and do what's in front of you. If you hear them whining, you hear them complaining, you hear them doing faggy stuff, let them be. Let them be. If they come and ask you your opinion, well, then give you give your opinion. But if nobody asks you your opinion, then you just stay out of you just you just stay out of it. You're doing your job. You're not there to make friends. My this is one of my dad's things too, because my dad's a blue collar worker, and he's always worked in garages fixing cars, and he works with a lot of effeminate men, a lot of lazy, fat, useless dudes that waste time and get nothing done. And so my, this is what my dad does. You could just imagine because I'm a lot like him. He, want, he, gen, he genuinely wants to help people. So he gives his advice, sometimes unasked for. And that's a little different than me. I give people their advice when they ask for it or I ask them if they're interested in hearing what I have to say. Well, my dad just comes right out and says, listen, man, you need to get your shit together. Look at you right now. Look at that garbage that you're eating right now. You're fat. You know why you're fat? Because you're drinking that damn soda all day long. Put that down and get some water. That's what my dad, my dad does shit like that. So he'll, he'll just talk to these guys straight up. But he's really trying to help. Some of them listen, some of them don't. But he gets to a certain point where after he's tried to, he tells me all these stories all the time. He actually, after he's tried to help somebody, he checks out. So if he tried to help you, because that's just what my dad wants to do. I'm saying mind your own business, but my dad likes to help people but he does it in a way that some people don't want it. He start giving advice. Hey man, listen, listen, I see what you're eating over there. I see what you're doing over there. And I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> That's my dad. But if they take his advice, their life changes. And he sees them every day and he's like, yeah man, I see that guy, he's doing pretty good, I'm proud of him. But if they don't take his advice and they just keep acting the same way, he cuts them off. He just don't talk to them no more. He pretend like they're not there. <laughs> I'm just telling you what he does. He said, I pretend like they're not there. I don't see them. I walk, it's like I'm walking through a wall. If I see them, I don't even move. I just walk right past them. So you could do the same thing. You just ignore these people. If you really want to help them, hey, maybe offer some advice. If you're anything like me, you just keep your mouth shut and go about your day. Pretend like you don't see them. Done.